Yo, what's up guys, Blasu here. Today, we're reviewing AR The Summon and Files for Nintendo Switch. So thank you so much Spike Chunsoft for providing me this game to review. Even though they did provide it for me, this would not change my opinion on the game. So this review is all crystal clear of my full on opinions. This game is available on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam. I will be reviewing the Switch version, of course. AI The Somnium Files is a mystery adventure game where the main character is Dante, a special agent of a secret law enforcement agency known as Abyss. Using an advanced technology with the help of an AI partner called Aiba, Dante can enter subconscious mind, Somnium, or a suspect person where you can look into clues. This game was made by Kotoro Ichikoshi, which is an amazing person who worked on so many other games as directors, so having such a great staff of people working on this game is amazing. What really makes this game stand out is the characters, all lovable in their own way with rich personalities that really stand out and they all make them special. Another thing, the voice acting in this game is really good. There's English voice acting and Japanese, and each one works really well with their characters and personalities. If I had to say my favorite character, definitely A-Set, best girl. Now this game is a murder mystery investigation type game, so during investigations, Dante will be standing in a fixed position while the camera can be moved freely around the environment. You can select objects to investigate this topic. There's also a visual novel, so if you talk to a person, you can have different conversations that provide the end result. You can build your own conversation that will end up to the final story, but will all make sense at the end. To investigate, there's three modes. Ayaba, the AI, is in Dante's left eye socket, which enables you to deepen investigation with zoom, thermo, or x-ray. But make sure you read all the dialogue or listen to the dialogue carefully because what you choose would change the outcome of the story. That just makes the replay value go up because what if you want to see a different route, you can have multiple save files and always have a different outcome. When Dante Yu sings, his partner Iba is manifested as a female humanoid character inside of a subject dream world called Somnium. Somnia are often shrouded in symbolism and mystery which reveals the subject subconscious mind. This just makes mysteries more in depth, having a different realm like Somnia looking more in depth than having your AI, Aiba, doing more in-depth research on the outside, inside, it's like so interesting to me. In Samia, Aiba, the AI, must interact with objects, such as certain actions can unlock mental locks, which is in the subject's mind. Unlocking all mental locks will reveal a clue relevant to this investigation. Be mindful of your actions. You have six minutes in Somnia before actions take time. Now this game really stood out for me from other games in the genre. Just how unique it is. All the characters are like vibrant and different. Like the scenery of each investigation is different. The characters, the way it all flows together. And honestly, I think this is a really good game. If you're a fan of the genre of mystery, action, detective, this is definitely the game for you. The voice acting is amazing in English and Japanese with an amazing soundtrack. If you even want to go more in depth, there's a limited edition, which I highly recommend. Honestly, you may want to get it as well. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Then of course, it's on Nintendo Switch. You could take it on the go, and this is a really good game to have on the go. So it's like, you know, visual novel, just chill back, find some mysteries. Great game. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks again, Spike John South, for providing me this game to review. I appreciate it a lot. If you want to check out my other review of Steins Gate Elite from Spike John Soft, that will be linked in the description below. And check out my other reviews or other videos too. So subscribe, like this video, and peace. What you do, stay on. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't realized, my old name was Blastoon, changed my name to Blastu. A nice little change. So I hope you all enjoy the future content from my YouTube and Twitch. Join the Discord server, have a fantastic day.